A kind-hearted man discovered a baby girl left alone on a wooden bench. Deeply moved, he took the child home. Years later, an unexpected miracle unfolded. Dmitry was a young man living in Moscow, working as a consultant for several companies, which kept him away from home most of the time. Though he was financially secure, happiness remained out of reach. Just a few months into his marriage, he lost his wife and daughter in a tragic accident. Since that heartbreaking day, nothing has been the same for him. One day, as he prepared for work, Dmitry looked through an old briefcase for some documents he needed. Just then, a photo of his wife and daughter slipped out. Heartbroken, he was overwhelmed by memories of all the beautiful moments they had shared. Through his tears, he whispered, I wish you both were here with me. Living each day without you has been so hard. Why does life have to be so unfair? Why? He cried for some moments. However, he knew he couldn't change the situation, so he picked up his bag, got into his car, and headed to work. On his way home, the city was freezing as it was November, and winter had begun in Russia. The tired man drove quietly, stuck in traffic, and decided to get some snacks. He parked his Lada Vesta subcompact car and walked into a snack bar where he bought something to eat. Just as he stepped out of the shop, he heard the cry of a baby. At first, he thought he was imagining it. But after taking a few more steps, he looked closely and found a baby abandoned on a bench. He was completely stunned. I really can't believe this. Why would someone abandon a baby in this terrible cold? He whispered in shock. But how did the baby girl end up there? Well, 10 months after her birth, her parents had a serious disagreement and filed for divorce. The newborn stayed with her mother, but eventually, the mother couldn't keep up with caring for her. She had no job and was barely surviving, so she left the baby on a bench, hoping someone would find and help her. That person turned out to be Dmitri. Many thoughts ran through his mind when he saw the infant. However, he knew he had to do something. He couldn't just ignore her and continue home, as she wouldn't survive in the cold. So he took her home. As he picked her up, the baby girl stopped crying and smiled at him. Her adorable smile brightened his day, and Dmitri felt an instant connection with her. When he got home, he asked his maid to look after the baby, explaining how he had found her. The maid felt sorry for the child, caring for her as though she were her own. She cleaned and fed the little girl, treating her with a mother's love. Mitri was also very attentive, ensuring the baby was well cared for and providing everything the maid requested. After a few weeks, he named her Anna. Due to his job, which required frequent travel, he couldn't always be with the little girl. When he had to leave for work, he placed her in a childcare center where she learned to read and write. Whenever Dmitri had free time, he visited her, bringing gifts and spending time with her. Over time, they developed a father-daughter bond. The little girl grew up knowing him, not as her biological father, as Dmitri made sure she knew her story from a young age. One day during a visit, Dmitri saw one of Anna's drawings that broke his heart. The drawing showed a father, mother, and daughter holding hands, walking down a busy street. It reminded him of the beautiful days he had spent with his late wife and daughter in the park, as if he could feel his daughter's soft hand and hear his wife's laughter. Seeing Dmitri in tears, Anna, not knowing what to do, hugged him and said in her sweet little voice, I'm sorry if I did something wrong. I've always wished to live in a happy family. That's why I drew that. I love you very much. Thank you for all you've done for me. Her words comforted him. He held her hands and told her he loved her too though he couldn't tell her the reason for his tears, as she was only seven. On her tenth birthday, he paid her a special visit, staying with her for several days. Anna was overjoyed. They went out daily, having lots of fun together. When the time came for Dmitri to return to work, he told Anna he had something important to tell her. She sensed it was serious, as his expression was somber. Dmitri told Anna he had adopted her as his child. Through tears, she hugged him, saying, Thank you so much, Dad. Thank you for always being there for me. I promise to be an obedient daughter. You are the only father I know and the only parent I need. I love you so much and will make you proud. As he got into his car, he promised to return soon to take her home with him. 
He also shared his plans to quit his job and be home with her every day. Over the next few months, he prepared for her arrival, left his job, and used his savings to open a restaurant near his home. His business quickly became a success with many customers. Finally, it was time for him to bring his adopted daughter home. He picked her up from the childcare center and drove her to his house in the city. Mitri did everything to make her happy. A few weeks later, he enrolled her in a new school where she made new friends and excelled in her studies. Every weekday, he would wake her in the morning, take her to school, and pick her up at noon, ensuring she lacked nothing. During weekends, he would take her out, buying her all sorts of things. Beyond material provisions, Mitri taught Anna about life and made sure she knew how much she was loved. Anna filled a void in Dmitri's heart, and he would forever be grateful to her for accepting him as her father. Anna thrived under Dmitri's loving guidance, excelling academically. After three consecutive years of being at the top of her class, she was awarded a scholarship. Dmitri was overjoyed, proud of her achievements, and pleased that he could save more for her future education. When she finished secondary school, she was accepted into university to study architecture, a childhood dream. After graduating, she quickly received multiple job offers, and within a few years, she became highly successful. She knew her life wouldn't have turned out this way if not for her adoptive dad. One sunny morning, she visited him at his home. After chatting for a while, she mentioned she had something to show him. He had no idea what it could be. When he stepped out of her car, he found himself standing in front of a luxurious house. Then Anna said, Dad, this is your new home. I built it for you, and I hope you love it. You've done so much for me, and this is my way of saying thank you. You don't need to work anymore. I'll take care of everything you need. Tears filled Dmitri's eyes as he embraced his daughter, overwhelmed by the realization that he had made no mistake in picking her up from that bench on that cold night. It was a powerful full circle moment. I'm really keen to know your thoughts on this story, so please don't hesitate to share your insights in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it engaging, I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Feel free to share this video, take good care of yourselves, and I'm excited to connect with you in our future videos.